that this is such a special time in my life right now because I'm so glad that my parents have moved closer to town. Many of you know that they just moved here this summer. So I've been working really hard to help my parents unpack and kind of get settled and then also start to decorate their home to feel more like it's their space now. And one of the first things that my mom wanted to do, of course, was to decorate her bedroom. I think that was like the one thing that she really missed back at her old house because we got her, her black dark bedroom so cool. That was her dream room. So I promised my mom that I would help like create her dream room for her again and that's what I'm going to be doing in today's episode. But before we jump into my mom's room, I kind of want to show you my space. I have a lot of new faces here on my channel so welcome. Thank you for being subscribed. My mom and I have very different styles and you're about to see that within our bedroom spaces. I actually think that my mom hates my bedroom and I'm pretty sure she's told me that before because it's so light and bright here. I love an airy like just kind of well sunlit space. I think it's so beautiful and dreamy. And that's like my mom's version of a nightmare bedroom. <laughs> Just so you know, when we sleep, we do have like these pull down and blackout blinds in here for nighttime and early morning blasts of sun. But everything in my room, much like my mother's is thrifted. Even our bed was thrifted. That was a Facebook marketplace find. If you look way back on my channel years ago, there are some video clips of my mom and I painting it. It was actually black before and then I painted it white and gilded it and stuff. But I got these beautiful bedside tables at a local auction. I got these gorgeous cherubs and like French bowels on them. This rug here was a storage unit purchase from one of my friends that was an antique rug dealer. This was a really beautiful find. It's all silk so it feels amazing when you get out of the bed and put your toes on it. It feels so luxe. This Victorian bustle bench was a piece that my dad found in just pieces in a dumpster at an estate sale. So he pieced it back together. I reupholstered it and finished it in this really beautiful kind of soft lush pink and romantic Victorian style that I love so much. And then all of the artwork also <laughs> that we have in this room. These were all garage sale finds, I believe. And then the piece down here, I got this this out of an antique Bible from an estate sale. And when you get those old family Bibles, they usually have like a marriage certificate in them. And they're almost always filled out by the family. This one was blank. And so I carefully razor bladed it out. And then I had a calligraphy artist put our names in there for our wedding. So that was really cool. And I think it's from the late 1800s. I can't believe it's still here. But I love pastels, as you can see. I love lots of textures and lace and and just kind of like soft things. But I feel like the place where my mom and I kind of overlap a little bit is sometimes with like our fashion and accessories, especially shoes. My mom is always coming over here and stealing like my cool shoes, cool boots for the fall season. So I wanna get into the next little piece and also thank Vivaya for sponsoring our bedroom makeover today. It's so kind of them. So if you're thinking about some new footwear for the fall season, I totally recommend you checking out Vivaya because they are a sustainable sustainable footwear brand. They make all their shoes with this really cool 3D technology and everything is knitted for a really beautiful kind of like seamless design to it. These are the Aria 5s. I got these last fall, I think it was, and I love wearing this particular design with dresses and even like jeans like this. I feel like they really kind of just dress up an otherwise more casual look, but best of all, they are incredibly comfortable. That is the most important thing of all, I think for me with footwear because if I have an uncomfortable shoe, my attitude goes down the drain and I get in a hurry. So that is key to have some comfort. But look how flexible these shoes are. They literally can bend in half if that tells you anything about comfort level. They also have this really wonderful padded heel here. So you won't have any kind of slippage. That's been a problem with me with like flats in the past, but this brand has been amazing. I am not the easiest person on footwear. So for me, it has to be something that's super durable too. And all of their shoes are machine washable. I just put mine in one of those little mesh laundry bags typically and then pop them in the wash, but they 
wash up literally like brand new. So this is the pair that my mom loves the most. And she literally came over to my house and stole them from me and I had to ask for them back so I could show you. <laughs> but this is Vivaya's new style. It's called the Jackie Square Toe Loafer. And I really think that you're gonna like this one because it is so comfortable for the season. I got the leopard print and then I also got a really nice classic black. But what's nice about the Jackie Loafer, it's got really nice tie laces that you can actually pull and adjust if you want to cinch them tighter. And then look at the insole on these. These are just wonderful for walking and being on your feet all day. Look at that quilted padding. All of the shoes have this in them. At least the Jackie Loafer does. They have a double arch support and then the heels have a shock absorber on them. So for me, like for the fall months, especially in Oregon, it's really rainy here and we're already having some leaves dropping on the ground. So things can get slippery, but these loafers have a really awesome traction rubber sole on them. So you don't have to worry about it. But I just thought these were so cute for fall. And for me, like I just, I have to have footwear that is comfortable, but also cute. And I love that Vivaya has a lot of fun, different options and different colorways and patterns to choose from. So you don't have to sacrifice like style and like fun, cute colors for comfort. They have both. And I've just been really happy with mine. Like I said, they are machine washable and they're super durable and easy to take care of. Visit the link in my description box and use code VB12 for 12% off your order. So yeah, with my mom closer, I have a feeling she's gonna be popping over to my closet and stealing things all the time. So you better be paying attention if you see her wearing shoes that are mine or like jewelry that's mine. <laughs> no, I'm so happy to share though. I'm, I'm super, super grateful to have my mom and dad closer to me here. It's just been so nice being able to spend time together and be able to help them with their home now. But yeah, my mom and I do have very, very different styles as you can see from my room. Now we're gonna jump over to my mom Mom's house. I'm so excited to share with you all of the work that we've been doing and all the fun things that we've been up to. So this very first room that we're about to show you is of course my mom's bedroom and then we're going to slowly work our way around the rest of the house but we do really want to take our time and kind of get to know exactly what my mom's wanting with each room and just have fun thrifting for things that's the best part I think for us is just spending that good quality time together and going out for lunch and having some giggles and treasure hunting you know <laughs> so anyhow without any further chit chat let's go over to mom's house <laughs> Welcome to my bedroom, just the way I like it. It's 11 o'clock in the morning and it's pitch black. my new house I just moved into last week and when we first moved in they had every wall in the house a pale gray it just looked like I should be going to jail or something it was, it was like the whole the whole house the same color and I can't take that I like each room to have its own personality and I really 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 love my black room in that last house and so I asked Lena she help me paint this room black and so we went black again yeah but the cool part about this new room is it has high ceilings the last yeah. house was really low they were eight foot these are ten foot ceilings yeah they're nice and high we went back and forth with whether or not we should paint the ceiling my, you I think you just said no because you didn't actually want don't physically do it yeah but you wanted it <laughs> <laughs> doing ceilings is a bear yeah. you had to sit there and crank your neck I can't crank my neck over five minutes or I get stuck that way. <laughs> I did it though. Yeah. You got it easy. This I got time. it easy. It was actually, it covered like really, really well. We used that bare paint again. This is, we used the same one, the little black dress and we just love this color. It's like a chic black. Yeah. 
love it in here. So what else, Mom? What else do we want to talk about? The end of the bed that I just Lena showed previously. That was actually kind of shabby shiki looking. And uh, so I took off the shabby shiki material and put a tell cow, me, tell cow me, hide Tell me you're talking there. about a bench. They don't know you're talking about. The bench <laughs> at the end of the bed. And, and the bed. Mom, you have to tell the story. This is the coolest story of where my mom got this bench and where you found it that's worth telling. It's the coolest thing. When I first got married in 1973, <laughs> Ooh, I'm old. I lived in this old apartment and they had stairs and we lived upstairs and then there was a door downstairs that when you first entered the building. I was always wondering what was in there so I was the manager of the apartment and it took me two months and I was the manager. So I went in there and I got all the junk. Everybody was throwing coats and stuff like that in there. Cleaned it all that out and I seen this under this like fake door or fake face of something and I said ah that's supposed to go about 10 feet in and all of a sudden I was only getting to go six feet and I was like oh man I gotta look and see what's back there I'm gonna find a treasure so and cool. so I there was like about this big a gap on the floor and I lay down on my belly and I looked under there at the flashlight and something shined back and looked me right back in the eye freaked me out I thought it was a big old rat in there so I waited for a while and beat on the wall a little bit and then I tore the boards down and it was a big old moose head in there with the full rack of horns taxidermy taxiderm yeah. just, I just boarded up in the wall and it was a five gallon jug a glass jug with wicker around it and then there was a 1920s bathing suit the, the, the long one with the little legs on it and the full body thing it was Whoa. wool yeah. it was wool <laughs> and then there was this bench in there too and it was all kind of the top is all ratted out where it's got torn all up and it was like all this good stuff in there i was like oh my goodness i was like packing out a moose head i mean that thing was huge the rack was probably about four foot wide probably probably about another three foot tall it was is a huge rack it went over a fireplace it filled the whole top of a fireplace that's like the stuff you see in movies like when people find a secret room with that stuff was a it. secret room it yeah. was like they boarded it over i don't know why they just sealed it over and no, no one all these years until i came along in 1973 <laughs> and i was like manager of the apartment so i was always having to clean everything and i was like i'm going to get to that closet downstairs and find out what's in there so i went down there and get, tearing all the old clothes and stuff out of there and oh man i was like Ooh, Ooh, that's gonna be treasures. I'm gonna find jewelry. I thought for sure I was gonna be retired. Yeah. <laughs> Little did you know. <laughs> But we still got some of the stuff. We got the bench, and Selena's got yeah. the jug. The bench is cool. That's been painted and recovered so many times. It was at my house, like when we had the farmhouse. I might have a picture of it I can find, but I chalk painted it, and I put like a burlap over it so it looked shabby chic. And now my dad sprayed it gold, and my mom recovered it with an old cowhide. Yeah, the cowhide. <laughs> so that's kind of a cool one. Yeah, that was a neat old apartment. Our apartment had big old wrought iron chandelier that came down in two sconces on each side of the fireplace wrought iron one looked real spanishy it was a cool apartment for apartments i mean it was 1200 square feet you know and it had a sunroom big kitchen i loved that apartment and we should have bought the when it came out for sale we were too poor in them days i always wished we would have bought it and just made that whole upstairs ours and just rented the bottom stairs down let them pay the payment well speaking of chandeliers how do you like your new jungle one in here i like that jungle yeah one. This turned out really neat. I was looking at online. We went back and forth. I was sending each other pictures like while we were trying to plan the new space. And we send each other like literally 100 pictures of something till we find like the perfect thing. Yeah. And then I found that. I didn't even show my mom the picture. And I, I was just like, you know, I'm going to order that. And yeah, it was in an old barn. I think it came from like South Carolina all the way here to Oregon. And the girl that sold it to me, she said that her grandma owned an antique mall. And this was in her grandma's antique mall so it's it's pretty neat that we repainted it and that little touch of gold on there i feel like kind of highlights it a bit so it doesn't matches blend. my 1800 yeah. bedstead and footboard this thing set the tone for our room i yeah. feel like we get one statement piece and, and of course it's heavy yeah <laughs> <laughs> this thing is weighs a ton this we found at an antique mall if you haven't seen the first episode of my mom's jungle themed room you got to check that one out so you can see what we did last time but this bed was so amazing we saw this like a year before we even bought it at a local antique mall and we thought it was so cool but we never like really went for it and then the next time we came to the antique mall it was in a different spot within the mall and this was like a year later and it was still there the guy went down on price and they even delivered it to the house which was super cool it's heavy and it's got these really cool lines on both ends of it and what is really cool about the design of this bed the feet are sucked in and so you don't stub your toe you don't stub your toe They're perfect they thought about it 
Yeah, because I, I told Selena when we looked at it, I said, I don't want that thing. I got rid of an ottoman that stubbed my toe three times. And it was I, cursed. Ooh, <laughs> cursed ottoman. With lion feet. I thought, man, I'll snag on, on this and this wrought iron bed. I mean, this the ba- uh, the footboard weighs 90 pounds. Yeah, I think it's heavy. And I was like, I don't want to break my toe for sure. But it was, they were all tucked in like a foot. Mm-hmm. So it was like, you don't even get close to them when you go around the bed. Yeah, the design's that, super that was cool. A pretty, somebody stubbed their toe. <laughs> Some designer's wife stubbed her toe. and he, oh, yeah. Yeah. You better do it right. Learn that lesson yeah. once. <laughs> and then this bedspread, you know, linens are some of my favorite things that my mom and I both love to look for at estate sales, especially. You can find some really cool ones. So whenever we see things like silk or velvet, we always snap those up. And my mom scored this at a thrift store, at a actually. thrift store for $5. <laughs> uh, back in the 70s, I had... Uh, yellow one. Oh yeah, and, like a gold. And, and then I, we got a blue one. I had a blue one. Then I was telling Slane, I need that red velvet spread for my new lion bed. Mm-hmm. And we just happened to go in the thrift store and they just got it in. They didn't even have it marked yet, I don't think. It was sitting there on our table and yeah. we said, how much you want for that old bed spread? She says, oh, I don't know, five dollars. We yeah. sold. It's <laughs> cool and it's got these tassels like yeah, on the, the fringe end. all the way around yeah. it. A neat fringe. Yeah. Super cool. Got a goodwill throw on the end of the bed. And then yeah. the curtains were a really awesome find. I actually originally bought the those for my mom's first jungle room but she had two windows and then the ceilings weren't as high in that bedroom so yeah. this one since we got the high ceilings we're like you know what we're really going to pick up that curtain rod real high so we can really elongate and make them very dramatic 96 so, long yeah these are real long these are like theater quality drapes they're really great i got them on mercari and they're silk with that really cool flash that flashes to black yeah. and they're thermal lines so they're a total blackout curtain they got this beautiful detailing of like hand stitched glass beads like on the border trim they're super cool and sherman likes this room too me and him <laughs> can sleep in good now yeah <laughs> so I, my dog's internal clock is still five o'clock to get up to go have breakfast breakfast time then he has to go potty so i have to get up every day at five o'clock still <laughs> ruining mole mom's routine yeah <laughs> i was wishing he'd sleep in with the black total back bedroom and blackout curtains i thought maybe i'd get another hour of sleep and trick him yeah. fall back he's gonna get up even earlier oh no yeah we get and these lamps we got these the lamps what'd you you found those in an oh, estate sale, yeah i got these in a state sale i think i paid 30 bucks for the pair and then mom and i went to this really cool victorian estate last year and this guy worked on antique lamps and he had all of the antique shades like all of that, the glass shades that was that um guy that that was a light no, yeah, yeah he had all the light guy. stuff. Yeah, he was a light repair guy. Boy, we were like kids in a candy store in yeah, that shed. Boy, we could have bought a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, there's really cool stuff. We only need like 10 houses to yeah. decorate. <laughs> this, we never ever talked about this. Oh, yeah, we made this. <laughs> So back in the day, my mom and I, this is the funniest website. I can't believe we're going to name a website. It was called, get, get ready to write this one down. It was called Victorian Shades by FaithDesigns.com. Like our, our name was like this long. Yeah, but we made Victorian <laughs> lampshades, so we know how to make lampshades. Yeah, like we can do this stuff. And we were like, we thought we were going to go into business making them, but they take so long to yeah. make them. And so we realized that we're only going to give you one if we love you. <laughs> <laughs> I gave one to an auction. They, went, they were auctioning oh, for yeah. some people that lost their home. And they were raising money for them. And this was the last one we had left. And I kept it because I thought, well, someday I'll get a, have it like that. But because at nighttime, I can read by it. Mm-hmm. It's a nice little light for reading by These over-the-bed ones are really hard to find these frames. Because this is a real one. It's not a reproduction yeah. frame. That, remember that was funny? Like, I got the frame on eBay. And, like, by the way, I take such care. Well, now you because you're the shipping department. But in wrapping, like, things that come from my website, like, things need to feel like a gift when you it might have been, it looked like a present. Yeah, this lady, when she shipped it, I ordered this on eBay, just the frame. It was shipped in a box with like, it had like hair in looked it. looked like she dumped her vacuum cleaner stuff in yeah, there. Yeah, it was like dirt and hair, like a handful of hair like from her, va- yeah, her yeah, vacuum. Yeah, yeah, it looks like she vacuumed a rug. And Dirty old it. newspapers and she shoved it all in. I was all, ugh. <laughs> We were trying to pick it up. Oh, great. Bring it outside and hosed it off. It was like, that's gross. You get one star on eBay for that yeah, one presentation. <laughs> gross. We presentate, right? Yeah, we presentate. Oh, we need to talk about your Goodwill palm trees. Hello. Oh, yeah. We went to Goodwill not long ago. <laughs> you know what's funny? A couple days ago. <laughs> we keep running into Mina. She's going to see us. Mina. <laughs> Hi, Mina. See- Hi, like, we went there and we're like, oh my gosh, we'll see you next time because we keep running into her. <laughs> at Goodwill. So it's so funny. Someday like, we're going to have to do lunch. <laughs> yeah, we need like a group trip, I feel like, of yeah, like all of us. Yeah, find out what she's looking for. Yeah. But we found these and we were out in the parking lot 
out when we ran into her. We're like, look what we found. So we did a little thrift haul for her, but we found these uh, palm tree pictures. They are so cool. I usually like skip the art department at Goodwill because I've never really found anything that great. And then this day we found the pear and these are so great because they have like a bamboo looking frame on them. Super cool. They're and like 1960s or 70s pictures, but I think they're newer than that because they said like party, party. light. What party was it? Party light. We, I never went to a party light party. Remember you just went for the food. Well, I only went, <laughs> I went to Tupperware and Best Buy and Watkins and I mean, when, when you- Home and garden party. <laughs> that was what this was called. That, when you worked in the schools, everybody's always having a party. And they want you to buy all this yeah. like pyramid scheme stuff. <laughs> pyramid scheme stuff. Yeah. <laughs> buy two and you get one free. You know, so you always buy three then. Tell me about your masks up here, mom. Well, the masks up here, well, all my masks are very, not very old, but at least 1960s to 1940s. My mom just informed me she has a whole other bin of masks in the garage, so we're going to be busting that out. We thought we would just lay them all out here and kind of see what we have to work with. This was a really cool one. I went to, man, I wish my mom was with me at this sale. It was a big estate sale, like at a, at a farm. And this person was an artist and they had all kinds of neat, like weird artwork. And I got two masks. I think we got two masks in that bowl with the hands on it. Where's that bowl? Have you unpacked that already? Yeah, we can use it for a fruit bowl. Okay, I just wanted to show them. Cause I got that. I think I only paid like $5 for that. And where's the white one? Oh, I, is that what you have there? I think so, it's heavy. It's a heavy one. This is one you have to have a good anchor in. <laughs> this one came from that same estate sale. Is it the same face? They're like kind of different. It's probably her husband. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this one. This was a cool one. This is like a little kid. Show them. <laughs> the little kid made this one. I thought that was cute. <laughs> Primitive art. These are African masks, the, the smaller ones. This one is a um, fertility mask. I don't know why it's over my bed. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't need to be over my bed. It has a fertility <laughs> mask. <laughs> Whoops. That's hilarious. I need to move that to another room. <laughs> I don't want that in here. Now those other ones are African. Yeah, those are neat. It's like that kind of wood, the ebony is so beautiful. Really heavy. And yeah, it's so heavy and dense, so pretty. We had to use mollies and two inch screws. Yeah. Not long of screws because these things are, hey, Selena's, she's mom is to kill you if they fell off the wall. So we had to make sure if there was ever an earthquake up in Oregon. Yeah, I don't want you to get hurt while yeah. you're sleeping. I'll just dive not under the bed. I'd get killed with this heavy bed. <laughs> well, it's a heck of a way to go out in your dream bedroom then, I guess. It's like anyway, yeah. <laughs> but I love how we hung these because it, it mimics the arc of the headboard, how they're going in a circle over it. It looks really pretty. We do want to do a wall mural. My mom loved that jungle one that we did, but I, I think we're going to be doing something really cool in the living room next for that yeah we're gonna do more in here but we haven't done it yet too pete uh, her husband might hang my tv because i have it on the dresser right now but he might hang my tv from the ceiling for me oh yeah i looked on amazon they have these mounts where you can like hang it from the ceiling so you don't have to take up any floor space yeah that's that'd be nice because this bedroom is only what is it 12 by 15 not very big I can, I can fill up a room fast <laughs> you just need a glass of wine some fiery hot cheetos and you can totally veg out in here remember <laughs> if, if, if you watched the video before that at goodwill that big old wine glass i said man i should have got that oh yeah that holds you just a have a big long straw and i'd never find you again <laughs> <laughs> my bathroom is connected to the bedroom i can just roll over and go to the bathroom <laughs> uh, all right you want to tell them thanks for hanging out hope you like do well, you need some lotion your legs i don't know you're itching too i'm itching you're itching i'll get ah did you, you like got dog fleas dog? or something <laughs> <laughs> thanks for joining us now we're getting nuts it's time, it's time to go eat i think <laughs> it's time for you to go bye <laughs>